all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said get into the ta all right guys so i am just going to start the video off by saying we are consolidating in a pennant on both spy and on qqq we're going to start off here on the daily time frame over here on SPY. And before we move any further, I'm going to remind everyone, hey, all right, back at the July top, we did this exact same thing after we got this big old red bar. You rebounded right up into the golden pocket. You stalled out at the 0.786 Fib. And within four more trading sessions, one, two, three, four, you had a big fat nasty gap down. Now, guys, we have CPI coming on Wednesday. Is that going to be a big, fat, nasty gap down? I have absolutely no idea. But I am going to remind everyone, that is what occurred last time. We got one of these really big red candlesticks. This is not something that I think just happens out of nowhere. I understand there was, like, scary news. But at the same time, guys, there were sellers willing to sell their stuff and give us this big, fat, red candlestick which means they're probably willing to sell it again even another negative catalyst so we will see what happens but i am just going to have that as a preface to this video that hey we already discussed that this looks like it could potentially be doing this and once we got the red candlestick we did come over here to mr vix we pointed out hey you're up here at above 65 on the daily rsi and every time all right, I think it was 21 times since the COVID crash over here uh, back in 2020, March 2020. So it's been like, you know, four years, guys. All right, four whole years. This has occurred 21 times and only three of those times. It took six to seven trading sessions or I think it's six to seven weeks, maybe six, seven trading sessions. All right, we'll just say a week. It took a week for VIX to start cooling off, but every other time. All right, so 21 minus 3, that is 18. So 18 out of 21 times, it has just cooled off. All right, within one to two trading sessions. So I do have to tell you guys, all right, it done did it again. You are seeing VIX cool off. The RSI is now back underneath 65. This is exactly what we look for, guys. Whether it be a dead cat bounce or not, we were looking for a bounce. Why? Because, hey, if you are a bear, you're not just looking to uh, sell when you have vix sitting up here because hey if it's not going to be one of those three times there so if it's not going to be a fourth time like let's do the the math on that guys all right the calculator let's come over here and guys it's like you know 10 to 15 percent chance if i have to do the math off the top of my head three divided by 21 all right 14 percent right there guys you have a 14 percent chance if you're taking a short on spy or, you know, ES or SPX, whatever you, your vehicle is. Guess what? If you're taking a short when VIX is RSI sitting up there, you have, as of over the last four years, as of right now, you have a 14% chance of being right. That gives you an 86% chance of being wrong. What do you do? You look for a buying opportunity on these dips. All right. And there you go. Now you're just consolidating here. And what do you do? You bounce. So coming from the last pivot low. You're taking really on the daily time from here, right? Pivot low. You straight shot up here. You could do it here, but then you overshot the high. So we clearly could see, you know, you had your range. Boom. You shot up pretty much right here. Golden pocket. Bounce to the golden pocket after this big fat red bar. Luckily closed right in the golden pocket. Low of 512.76 is the low of the big fat red bar. And then you bounced into the other golden pocket. All right, so back-to-back -back golden pocket test. Now you're consolidating what I think to be a bullish manner. All right, so we do have this demand zone. I'm going to say it's demand zone because, you, yes, you got underneath it. You had a panic sell, but you got right back above it, and now you're just consolidating in a bull pennant. That's what I'm going to call it, bull pennant. Look at it this way. You have a flagpole. You have a pennant. Bull pennant. <laughs> there you go. All right, but, uh, yeah. It's really simple where we go from here, guys. If you can pop your head above 521.50, you are paying attention to 523.87. That's going to be the high of this candlestick right here. And if you can get up there, you're probably just going to push the high, which is going to be the high of this candlestick right here. It's uh, 524.61. All right. So if you get above 521.49, you're probably just going to push up to a new all-time high. 
And let's just make it real simple on the downside from here as well. Break down from the pennant. You're watching this demand zone. If you start breaking down, guys, all right? I understand this is pretty far away from the current price, but it really is how it is. What you can do, just to make it so you don't have to, you know, have it fall all the way back down there, guys. Underneath this demand zone, you're watching for the golden pocket here. If you get under 514.40, we're going to call it. And you're probably just going to break 512.76. And if you break that, you're just going to come down to the demand zone. And then I said that I'm going to be bullish on it if we get the dip down here. Why? Because I don't think things are going to look too bad. I think if you come over here to ES. All right. And guys, by the way, you want to see some uh, really nice price action. All right. Congrats if you've caught any of these moves. I think you might about to be catching one. If we sink lower from here, there you go. It honestly looks like you're probably going to pop above here. So if you're an ES trader, guys, above 5285, you're uh, yeah, you're looking for this high to be uh, tested up here. So that's a 28-point move right there. Above here, up there. There you go. A lot of ticks in your direction. All right, guys. Um, but yeah, things aren't going to be looking too bad. You know, you already do have, I think it's on NQ. We have the bullish divergence going on in the four hour RSI down here. Oh, that's actually something we should talk about right here. All right, guys. So you do have this uptrend going on right here with, uh, you know, quite a few touch points there. We have a one, we have a two, a three, a four, five, six, seven came down. And then, uh, guess what? You broke underneath it, came back to back test it. And it does align with a few other areas of confluence right here. All right. So we do see sellers step in right here. It's also at the golden pocket. So we have horizontal, uh, you know, resistance going on right there. We have the trend line resistance, break and retest. And then we also have the golden pocket test right there. But then you also do have this consolidation above the 90 EMA here in what I think to be a bullish, rather bullish manner. And uh, you do have the four hour bullish divergence down here. So. You know, take this for what it is. I'm just showing you what I see on the chart, all right? I'm not going to say I know which way we're going to go because in reality, as we do have CPI coming up, and I don't know which way we are going to be going. I really don't, all right? Come over here to IWM. What are we paying attention to, guys? You got an uptrend. It's, it's, uh, you're breaking your uptrend, <laughs> so there's that. I guess you could have actually been paying attention to that, and you, you already did start breaking down. All right, so there's that, but guess what? All right, I know I'd say the golden pocket again, guys, like a lot on this channel, but guess what? You do not need to make things complicated. You really do not. Come down here, there, where do you find sellers? Golden pocket, golden pocket, and then you sunk. All right, there's your shorting opportunities. It does not get better than that, guys. It does not get easier. It does not get better. All right, you went from here. Guess what? Came down, whether you want to take it from here or here, we're going to say you held the golden pocket. All right, it's just an area of confluence on most moves. Like it really is. From here, down to here, golden pocket. Um, guess what? From here, down to here, golden pocket. Now you're just breaking your uh, uptrend. So if I had to take guess, you're probably going to, you know, probably trade flat tomorrow, guys. We have uh, CPI on Wednesday. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I really do appreciate you guys for being here with me. I appreciate your time. All right. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get much. Uh, that's why I pointed out what to watch for. I don't know which way we're going to break. We got a pendant going on here on SPY and QQQ. All right. And both are stalling out right here at the golden pockets. There's that. Um, you know, break down from the pendant. You're watching this demand zone right here. Break under 517.38. And like that's the bottom of what I got is my demand zone. All right. That high, that high over here. Guess what? Then we're going to be watching this golden pocket. And if you could break under 514.43 from that point, then we're watching 512.76 under there. We're paying attention to here's where I think there's going to be a very large buying opportunity. I don't think it's going to just refall like a lot of people think. I think it's going to be a controlled fall down there. You're probably going to range out, or you're going to do something like this. Come on. Maybe something like that. Like, if you're going to go lower, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. 
I think this could be like realistic. I got no idea. That's that. All right, guys. Um, yeah, IWM guys, you're still just right here in this massive uh, rising wedge here. CPI right around the corner. Gonna either be a make or break for this market, in my personal opinion. And there's that. We don't know which way it's gonna go. All right. So let's look at some individual tickers, guys. We do have AI. You have this falling wedge here. You're trying to break out. Had a false breakout today. There you go. Get above the nine. That's gonna be your signal. This is probably heating up. Get above the nine. Get above the nine right here. Start heating up. Get above the nine. Heat it up. Above the nine. You did continue higher from there. All right. So, but uh, you know, underneath the nine, ways away. You went 18%. You're down here. You shot up. All right. 45%. Over here. Boom. All right. So there's that. Now I'm gonna point out something I. Post on Twitter. If you guys are not following my Twitter, go follow the Twitter. The link is going to be down in the description along with the link with the Discord. Um, I will be posting daily over there. I will be posting long term setups, just, you know, anything I'm seeing, short term setups, index and updates, you know, just stuff I'm seeing. But I'm going to try and post two to three times a day. And uh, that's the goal. All right. So go check that out. Monthly time frame. Break and retest, you actually did have this going on as well. If you just want to take that, that's your head. You get this. All right, and then you got that right there. Whether you want to see this as a double bottom, you broke and retest. Whether you want to see an inverse head and shoulders pattern, you broke and retested right here. Boom, boom. Double bottom again. Broke out right there. It's really not looking all too bad, guys. This is not. This is on the monthly time frame. I think you're going higher. You're probably going to be, you know... Taken out. Oh, so this is where you're finding resistance right up there. All right, so it's right up here. I do think you are going to be heading up somewhere up here. Yeah, we're gonna say, uh, yeah, right there. You're right there. You really just start pushing. I think you got a big gap right there, big price gap. And if you go look on the weekly time frame, guys, you guys, and I actually didn't point this out monthly bull flag after the break and retest and you know you pull back here but now dude, we can't use a gold in the pocket i don't know why i just even tried that um but yeah in reality guys this thing does look bullish so we come over here the weekly time frame doesn't really look like you know that's being respected right there but you do have this downtrend that was you know fresh break if you can get over this zone here which it tops out at 183 then there's nothing till 193. I think that is the easy trade right there, but I think that is not where this thing is going to stop. I think it's probably going to do something like this. All right, and uh, this, you know, that is the move I think is is here. Meta, guys, we're going to come over here to the daily time frame. I'm just going to point out, all right, breakout, maybe a false breakout, but I do think, you know, that is telling where we're going. So if you do pull back here, I think 500 is going to prove to be a buying opportunity. That is where the golden pocket starts. And you're going to have this break and retest off of this, uh, the daily high right here. This is where you broke out from. I think I'm off by 10 cents there. The high is uh, 497.43. I have 497.53. So let's change that real quick there. All righty. So that is that. Next thing I'm going to point out over here on Mr. Tessie. All right, test a lot, guys. Bounced off your demand zone. This is where we've been watching. All right, I, I kind of wish I was just, you know, kind of wish I was pretty heavy in this. This thing does look like it's about to uh, explode. I'm just putting it out there, guys. You have a quadruple bullish divergence going on. You have a falling wedge. It took like a damn long time to, you know, form over here. That is almost half a year. It's five months. That is a long time. You're finding sellers right here at the trend line. If you do not believe me, come over here to the hourly time frame. You will see rejection, 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 rejection. Guess what? You break above this high right here. I think you're off the races, all right? So you break above the level is 177.19. Guys, mark it on your chart. You can break above. You're looking for a, you know, a strong break here, guys, all right? Maybe you're, you're going to come up here. Maybe you're finding some rejection. Maybe it pulls back. You're looking for the strong pop. All right, and whether it goes straight here or pulls back and then goes there, it really doesn't matter. It's all the same, guys. All right, this is, uh, you know, I'm looking for above this level. Look it up here, 186.72. So it's going to be 177.19. I will put it on my chart just like you put it on yours. There you go. Next one we're paying attention to is Disney. Down here, watching the break and retest. Put it on your radar. All right, you're going to have a trend line test going on down there as well. 
throw on something else. Boom. What happens if you come into this uh, horizontal level? You got the gold of pocket. I think it likely gets bought. And I'll be paying attention. And actually, one thing I want to point out over here on Meta, guys, you do have this bearish divergence going on here on the four hour time frame. I think you're going to be pulling back down in here. Like, look at this. This looks like it's probably going to start, you know, pulling back. We're watching it. All right. Next one we're paying attention to. Good, guys. It does look like it's about to break out to a new high. All right, that it does. I was looking for the break, the uh, break and retest. If we come back over here to Google. I was looking for the retest of this level. As you see my alert, I just missed it by like, uh, what is this? The low here is 151.08. All right, I was looking for <laughs> like 40 cents off, guys. You know, you don't always have to wait for the perfect entry. You're buying time on, you know, things like, you know, this is like a setup you're watching the weekly time frame here. There you go. All right, next one we're watching over here. It'll be NVIDIA, my little watch list of the tickers I'm personally watching right now. All right, guys, I'm going to be completely honest. Maybe I was wrong about this one. I don't know. All right, I am uh, I'm not sure it's wanting to take its damn time, and Meta <gasps> is proving to be the one here that is, uh, you know, has the strength going on right now. I guess NVIDIA is just taking a little break here. All right, coming up here, almost getting to the golden pocket there, but yeah, you pulled back. All right, so... I'm going to be completely honest, guys. This is your demand zone down here. This is going to be it. All right. You're paying attention to that zone. If you can hit that zone, which actually I'm going to send that upwards just to where we uh, closed out the other day. All right, down here. All right, so that's your demand zone. That's where you're paying attention to. If you pull back into it, I'm watching for buyers to step up in there. Um, guys, if you really do pull back, you know, I don't think you're going much lower. I think you're probably doing something like you did over here, and then you're gonna, you're gonna have one of those days around the corner. That's what I think. All right. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong, guys. All I'm saying is this is just consolidating. And, you know, it could just be in a massive range. I think it's probably just going to keep doing this. I don't know. All right. Next one you're paying attention to is Schwab. All right. On the daily time frame, guys, this ain't looking too bad. All right. Just, uh, you know, you can see what I see. Bull flag. Bull flag, bull pennant, whatever you want to call this. Rectangle pattern. Break and retest. Looking sexy. Got the trend line. You keep extending this out for another, uh, you know, two weeks here. Boom. You're tapping that. But, you know, what I would really like to see is I would buy this. Come into the trend line. Boom. That's sexy. And, you know, you can, you, you can see the TPs. This is on the focus list. All right. Um, next one. S bucks. Golden pocket test, baby. Golden pocket. Coming from down here all the way up there. You come over here to the weekly time frame. All right. You literally just printed a hammer candlestick off of there, and the daily RSI just hinged up off of 30. That's something to pay attention to, too. All right. We're going to put alert above there. You watch for a break above that high, and honestly, this thing probably comes back up and tests 89 bucks. There you go. Shop, guys. Still finding buyers here on the trend line. Two-way setup here. All right. Underneath there, we're looking for 7060 at least, but I think ultimately uh, 6760 is going to be like amazing buying opportunity, right? Really want to pay attention to guys. Uh, PayPal, one I actually saw on Twitter by this banana stocks guy. All righty. Um, I'm going to be big on Twitter, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to post some Twitter stuff. Build a big Twitter community just like here on YouTube, and it's going to be a fun, jolly good time. And hopefully both of the platforms feed into each other and uh, it accelerates our growth. And it's going to be a fun time. Jolly fun time. All right, guys. Amazon is the last one I'm going to be talking about. I do think this thing is going higher from here. And I just want to point out, guys, the monthly candlesticks on everything, they, they were not necessarily bearish. All right. You're not necessarily looking for this thing to fall off a cliff from here after having one of those things. I, I just don't think it's going to happen. All right, it really doesn't look all that bad. Like, look at IWM. This is beautiful. What are people talking about? Guys, bears are smoking crack. I'm sorry if you're a bear. You might have been uh, sniffing some fumes. Sorry, I, I kid, I kid, I kid. <laughs> I joke, all right? I kid, I kid. But guess what, guys, all right? You, you literally busted up through the top of the range here, all right? You clearly do have a, you know, zone clip going on here. Supply, very clearly. Supply, 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 supply. Demand. Demand. So I, I don't think this necessarily looks bearish to me. I know you have this rising wedge, but, you know, most bullish patterns are, uh, you know, bearish uh, pattern uh, failures. All right? So you would break up from this pattern. 
I don't know what's going to happen, all right? That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm watching. Thank you for your time. I very much so appreciate you guys. And with that being said, guys, if you guys did appreciate the video, all right, if you guys found some useful, useful analysis here, guys, please don't forget to uh, leave a like, hit the bell. And if you do have a friend that would find value in my, the content that I share uh, six days a week here, just like you uh, find that value, please feel free to share it with that person, help that person out, and it would also be helping me out, all right? So I'll always scratch your back, just please sometimes just feel free to scratch my back back, you know? You know, you know. All right, I will uh, catch you all in the next one. Peace.